Hi, my name is Danielle Parrott and I teach biology and AP biology at Vistamar School in El Segundo, California. In this video, I'm going to show teachers how to do in a simple activity called toothpick ace. And in this activity, the points it drives home are the enzymes or catalysts that don't get used up in enzyme catalyzed reactions and that the rate of those reactions can be influenced by substrate concentration and temperature. This activity is super low materials necessary and teaching it is as easy as breaking a toothpick. Each team should choose someone to be the timer, someone to record the data, and someone to be the toothpick ace. In part A, students will be getting a baseline for how quickly a, their toothpick ace enzyme can do its job. The toothpick ace will fish around blindly until it can find one toothpick. It will put it in its active site and then it will break it. And then continue to try and find others in the allotted time. In part B, you'll clear out all of the broken toothpicks and add the toothpicks from that second bundle. To that, you will add about 10 paper clips. The point of the paper clips is to effectively reduce the concentration of toothpicks and to put some substrate in there that isn't substrate that the enzyme is designed to break. After completing part B, the student should consider how does adding the wrong substrate or lowering the concentration of toothpick substrate affect the rate of the reaction. And now it's time for the analysis. Students will take data from parts 1 and 2 and make a line graph. They will need to set up the axes on their own. Of course, uh, time will be on the x-axis and number of broken toothpicks will be on the y. The way they scale their y, of course, will depend on how many toothpicks they were able to break throughout parts 1 and 2. It should also have a key and this should be colored and so their lines should be designated differently depending on whether it's part one or two. With the information from this graph and their experience, they want to ask, how does adding a second substrate affect the enzyme? Use the graph to support your data. And then on the last page, there's a set of just a few very simple questions to help turn their experience and their data into words.